my brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, we must get to know the Holy Spirit of, of the living God. Uh, we must realize this, that we ought not fear the Holy Spirit of God. I know many of us have come to the knowledge uh, or not the understanding of the Holy Spirit, but we have uh, been uh, exposed to the Holy Spirit even when we were not even uh, believers. Many of us believe that the Holy Spirit is an emotional revelation of that when you are filled with the Holy Spirit of God, then you will become uncontrollable. You will become very, uh, 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 um, you, know, you could say sometimes spaced out. Uh, that's what we believe because that's what we've been told. That's what we have been, we have seen people act out when it seems that they have received the Holy Spirit of God. Uh, and then we get afraid of Him. Beloved, uh, let me say this to you. When you read the book of Acts and you truly understand it, you realize that when the Holy Spirit of God came into the upper room with the believers that was there, including the mother of Jesus, that the Holy Spirit came upon them and, uh, 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 and there was like a uh, flame of fire that came upon their heads and then they were filled with the Spirit of God. But beloved, remember this, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit came as a rushing wind. It did not say it was a rushing wind that threw everything away, but I'll push everything aside or they created chaos on the scene. I, I, beloved, but rather what made it seem as though the, the, they, were, they were drunken as many of them claim uh, that saw uh, the reaction of the believers was because of how they were speaking, beloved. Not how they were acting, but when they began to speak, they spoke in their own tongues in different languages that the people was able to understand them. They weren't running around and shouting, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and falling over benches and falling over pews and, and all this other thing that we see sometime as being a characteristic of someone who is filled with the Spirit of God, that as though they have no control at all. And people say, well, because the Spirit have control of them. Beloved, the Holy Spirit is very gentle. Amen? That's why many born-again believers never live the fullness of what Christ have given them because uh, they are afraid of the Holy Spirit of God. They are afraid to uh, 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 look within themselves what God has invested in them. Amen? And allow the Holy Spirit, who is very subtle, in order to lead them. Beloved, the Holy Spirit has been misrepresented. So we have to get to know Him for who He really is. And if we don't, beloved, we are, will not be guided uh, by Him because He will live within us, but He will be quenched and He will be grieved. And when the Holy Spirit is that way in a believer or unfounded in a believer, then he cannot lead nor guide. You have to actually allow the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you. It does not just take control of your life and you don't have any uh, uh, resources in order to uh, abstain from Him. You have all power to abstain from Him. But we have to make sure that it's the Holy Spirit of God. Because let me say this. Anything that takes control of you and you have no control of yourself at all and you cannot stop it, then dearly beloved, you have to question if it is the Spirit of God or the spirit of ruination, which does not come from God, but rather the enemy of God. Beloved, 
the Holy Spirit will not make you do anything that you don't desire to do. Amen? Let me make that clear. The Holy Spirit of God will only instruct you. He will not control you. And that is the difference. So the Holy Spirit has been mischaracterized in many instances. Beloved, the Holy Spirit is subtle and He will lead you only if you will allow Him to lead you and to guide you. So beloved, get to know Him. Call upon the Lord and say, Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me even right now that I will have an acknowledgement of the Holy Spirit of God. Father, teach me. Glory be to God. Dearly beloved, the Lord God desired to lead you by His Spirit. Allow Him to do so in Jesus' name.